Hello and welcome. Today we are going to solve a very interesting problem. One more interesting problem on projectile motion. Let me read this problem. You and your friend are standing on the roof of two nearby buildings at points A and B respectively. You both simultaneously throw a ball each with velocity velocities 3 i cap plus 3 7 j cap meters per second and minus 1 i cap plus 4 j cap meters per second respectively. The balls collide in the mid air after 1.7 seconds. Find the distance a b. Okay, a very interesting problem. Uh, I would um, clear some space and make this sketch. Okay, so we have a building, let me draw two buildings. This is one building, this is the ground level, this is point A and there is another building which is, we don't know the height of the second building. This is one building but the second building we don't know whether it's taller than the first or it is shorter but let's assume but we can't say that it, they are equal but so we will assume something and we'll proceed so let's say this is a second building i'm showing it taller than the first and here is point b so at, from point a and from point b uh, two balls are thrown simultaneously from point a the ball is thrown at initial velocity of 3 i cap plus 7 j cap meters per second. That means the horizontal component, component of the initial velocity of this ball which is thrown from A is 3 meters per second. Its vertical component is 7 meters plus 7 that means upward 7 meters per second right. So the here the velocity is is like this and this is as we have said 3 i cap plus 7 j cap this is in meters per second and similarly uh, the ball is thrown simultaneously from point b now look at the velocities the velocity initial velocity of the ball thrown from point b is minus 1 i plus 4 j cap right Mi minus 1 i cap plus 4 j cap meters per second that means the horizontal component of this initial velocity from point b is minus 1 meters per second minus because it that means it is thrown leftward plus is rightward so 3 meters per second in this direction here this is thrown from initial horizontal component is minus 1 that means 1 meters per second towards left you are left okay and its vertical component of the initial velocity is plus 4 meters per second so you have another velocity i mean if i show it like this this is minus 1 minus i 1 i i is minus 1 i plus 4 j j cap this is the velocity now these two balls are going to collide with each other we, do, we are not told where they are colliding but we can imagine that uh, you know they could be colliding anywhere so let's say that we are we are showing the travel of this ball this ball will travel like this and will fall right similarly this ball will also travel and fall and let's say that they meet somewhere here let me make it clear so let us assume that they are colliding at this point okay so just to make it clear i'm Okay, 
so this is the point at which this is the point at which they are colliding now we want to find out ab right we are asked to find out ab that means we want to find out this this distance ab is to be found out now see if we want to find out ab uh, you can immediately see that this ab is forming a hypotenuse of a rectangle now if you say this is a b and c right this is so we want a b and if we knew a c and b c we can find a b because this is the hypotenuse of this uh, triangle okay so now see <coughs> if we want to find out a c now that is easy to find out you know that uh, the projectile is you know moving horizontally and it is moving vertically now if you look at uh, the and you we also know that the these two motions horizontal and vertical motions can be separated from each other so if you want to find out this ac which is nothing but this distance plus this distance okay so we first find so what is this distance it means the ball look at this point, point from a the ball is getting displaced horizontally and it is getting vertically displaced let's look at horizontal displacement so this is the horizontal displacement as far as the point b from where the ball is thrown this is the horizontal displacement so if you find if you want to find out horizontal displacement of the ball which is thrown from a that will be uh, look at this the ball is thrown with a horizontal initial horizontal velocity of 3 meters per second so ball is thrown like this and this collusion takes place after 1.7 seconds that means the ball has traveled horizontally for 1.76 seconds and the horizontal velocity of the projectile is constant so this 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 displacement is 3 into 1 point because it is uh, they are meeting after 1.7 seconds right it's it's uh, written there so it is 3 into 1.7 right and this is towards right and so 3 is positive so this is going to be positive displacement is 3 into 1.7 now look at this the ball thrown from point B, it is thrown with horizontal velocity of minus 1, right, minus 1 meters per second. That means it is towards left. So, again, that is also traveling with for, uh, for 1.7 seconds. So, this displacement, this displacement is minus 1 into 1.7. So, this displacement of the ball from thrown from a is plus 3 into uh, 1.7 which will be 5.1 right this is 5.1 and this is going to be minus 1 into 1.7 it is minus 1.7 okay so this minus sign just shows that it is towards left but as far as this total distance right length of ac is cons considered you have to just add it up so it is 5.1 plus 1.5.1 plus 1.7 and so ac is 6.8 ac is 6.8 meters okay so you have you have found out ac please note this sign doesn't matter because we want distance the sign was there in order to find out displacement once we have found out displacement we want to just add them up so we, we don't take sign and we just add them up you can't you can't do algebraic addition because we are not finding out we are finding out the distance total ac or the distance between point a and c okay so we just add it up now we want to find out bc so how will you find it out now for that you need to look at this let me <coughs> clean this up the ball thrown from a is coming over here in 1.7 the ball thrown from B is reaching over here in 1.7 seconds, right? Okay. Now, if you want to find out, if you look at this, this distance, this, let's call this point B, sorry, point, some point P. And if you project it here, the displacement, the vertical displacement of the ball thrown from B is this much. Okay, because initial position of ball was this, now it has traveled down to this level. So this is your, this is a vertical displacement. The vertical displacement of the ball, which is thrown from A, 
and when it reaches here is this this is the vertical displacement let's call this s1 and let's call this displacement as s2 and it's it's obvious to us that this bc this bc of this triangle right angle triangle is s2 minus s1 s1 is the vertical displacement of the ball which is thrown from a and s2 is the vertical displacement of ball which is thrown from b that is vertical displacement so if you find out s1 and s2 then it's easy to find out bc because this is s s2 minus s1 so how will you find out s1 and s2 so displacement of a you know projectile vertical displacement here we are talking about vertical displacement can be found out by separating the vertical motion that means as if the ball from a is thrown vertically with a initial velocity of plus 7 meters per second that means it's thrown upward 7 meters per second and after 1.7 uh, seconds where it's going to come it's coming going to come here over here that means it's as if, i mean if, if you are considering the ball thrown upward it will directly come over here which will be the displacement s1 it's same when it when it is moving horizontally and coming down it would have come here but if you just throw it up with velocity initial vertical velocity from a at as 7 meters per second it just coming going to come down in rectilinear fashion and it will come at the same level so it's the displacement will be s1 okay so, so we can write down initial vertical velocity we know we want to find out um, displacement we are considering rectilinear motion right so we can write the equation which comes from kinematic uh, from newton's uh, you know three kinematic equations of from in, coming from newton's laws so we can say s1 is equal to ut plus half at square right so what is u is initial vertical velocity which is 7 so you can say 7 what is time it is 1.7 right plus now just we have to be careful about the sign we are considering because the ball is thrown vertically upward and the net displacement as we have according to this figure it's downward so it's coming down so what we will see we'll consider upward as positive okay upward as positive and uh, downward as negative so if you consider so you are going to get s1 this displacement you would expect it to be in neg with negative sign so we will say 7 into 1.7 u7 is the initial vertical velocity ut t is the time plus half at square plus half now what is a a is acceleration due to gravity and always in all the problems we have considered a is equal to i mean that means g is equal to 10 meters per second square and that's downward okay so we will consider that with negative sign so this is 10 into 1.7 square so this will give you s1 now this s1 i'll directly write will be minus 2.5 5 meters okay minus 2.55 meters similarly now come to this so this ball consider the vertical displacement that is s2 again apply the same logic and write the equation s2 is equal to ut plus half at square u is initial vertical velocity what is initial vertical initial vertical velocity is 4 meters per second right so it is 4 into 1.7 plus half into again a is minus 10 into 1.7 square now this if you calculate will be equal to minus 7.65 this is minus 7.65 so if you want to find out bc which will be uh, this is going to be 7.65 right because we want to find out this so this minus this now you don't have to consider signs okay because we want to find out this distance this distance s2 is 7.65 this is 2.55 so 7.65 minus 2.55 that is going to give you 5.1 right so <coughs> bc is equal to s2 minus s1 is 5.1 meter once we have found out this we can write a b square a b square is equal to a c square 
plus BC square, right? And when you find out AB in this fashion, this will be equal to 6.8 square plus 5.1 square. And hence, AB will be equal to 8.5 meters. So distance AB is 8.5 meters. Thank you.